we'd like you to start your SketchUp experience by loading a model that someone else has designed for you and just getting a feel for how you move around in that model space. If you load a SketchUp model called House 2 Story, which you've downloaded, this is what you will see. A couple of houses on two separate blocks and uh, some properties associated with, say, the roof and the wall. We're interested to begin with in helping you move around. If you roll the wheel of the mouse away from you, that zooms you in. If you ro roll the wheel of the mouse towards you, you zoom out. You can zoom out a long way. Notice that shadows are being cast by the fence. So you can change your view. You can go to view and say, I don't want shadows to show, or I do want shadows on. So we basically, in this first exercise, just want you to experiment with things. See if you can learn to maneuver around. This is the orbit tool here. So you select the orbit tool and just drag, and that changes your view. Remember, other tools can be used. This one here will give you a zoom extent. So that'll show you the view that you currently have, but with the model expanded to its maximum view. So experiment a little with this model, and then pick one or two of the others that we've given you. If you pick up the one called Control Room, you'll see that when you come into it, there are a series of tabs across the top of the screen here. If I click the Home tab, can you see what's happening? We're zooming into a certain area. We can zoom extents on that view. Then if you want to go to an interior view or an exterior view, see how things are changing based on the tab that I select. And we go to a dynamic view where we'll be looking at a perspective view from one angle at the at the front of the building and off to the left a little. These little tools, little tabs, can help greatly when you've built your SketchUp skills. But for the moment, just experiment with some of the options in here. You might want to try face style x-ray. So now we have an x-ray view of the building. So as we move forward towards the building, we're actually moving and can see inside the building some of the structures inside. We might want to use hidden line removal and clean the drawing up a little. But in this first brush, if you like, with SketchUp, just play a little with what is a really wonderful tool.